you were quoted as saying that you would take Treasury away from Keane. And these people at the weekend were cheering. They said, about time someone did this, this might give me a reason to vote Liberal. And now tomorrow, there's every possibility that on top of Treasury, on top of energy, which he's made a mess of, he'll now have a deputy leadership. I just come back to the point, don't you really feel by not standing, you've let people down? Yeah, I have. And that's that's the nature of politics. You know, unfortunately, I can't be all things to all people. I wish I could be. Uh, but as I said, um, given that, uh, uh, given that the, you know the factional heavyweights had made a decision, uh, given that you know I've often been, uh, uh, I've often been a bit of a burden to the party. I've often been on the left field of the party in the sense that I've never uh, towed the line, and I've never been a, you know I've, I've never towed the line of the factional leaders. Um, you know that's that's the price I've had to pay. You were the transport minister. You had some trouble with the rail, tram, and bus union and the taxi union, but Keane controls the purse. Was Keane helpful to you in all of this? Well, it's a matter of public record, Alan. I mean, I, I, we were very close to a deal and uh, he decided to blow it up. And that's another reason why I wanted to run against him as, as, uh, as deputy leader, because I, I thought that that was very, an insincere approach, making that sort of statement without even letting me know beforehand. Uh, and that's one of the things that I'm gonna keep him account for. Good on you, good on you. You've been accused of seeking the governorship from Premier Perrottet. Hmm? Well, I, as we both know, I'd make a sensational governor, Alan. I mean, it would, uh, it would be uh, only appropriate for me to be Her Majesty's representative in New South Wales, but the only governor that I'll be getting is Long Bay Jail, I suspect. <laughs> Did you speak to Perrottet about a trade role so that he could dump you from the cabinet? No, no, I mean, no, that's, we, we, can I say, we, we discussed um, what my role would be in a, um, in a, you know, in a, in a post-election world. We, of course, we have those discussions. We discussed where we're taking our wives for lunch on Sunday. Uh, but um, I, I, I live in the Hills District, Alan. We don't, we don't leave the Hills District. It's, it's Pleasantville. And I, and I did promise my wife 20 years ago when I came back from peacekeeping, I never wanted to leave Australia again and I, and I never want to work overseas again. I'm, it was, um, you know, living and working in a third world country. And I know London and Paris and New York and all those places aren't third world countries, but Australia is the best place to be and I, prefer, I, I intend to stay here. You see, in the light of what you've said now, we've got to go, got to go, but in the light of what you've said now, there'll be people on the keen side calling for sanctions against you when in fact this bloke has been a professional critic of the Liberal Party and people within it when he is a member of that party. I do not understand, and people watching this program do not understand how such a person could be elevated to the deputy leadership. But thank you, as always, the reason they wanted you as a candidate. You're always open and honest and frank, and you're a straight shooter, and we desperately need those sorts of people in the party. So hang on there, we'll talk again down the track. Thanks, Alan. There he is. It's a loss, this bloke, but there are the factions, you see? He's been nobbled. And Dominic Perrottet, even if David Elliott were to be a candidate, let me tell you, Perrottet was supporting Keane. And Anthony Roberts, you were supporting Keane. Even if Elliott had stayed as a candidate, the leader was supporting a bloke who's behaved treacherously towards he, him and towards the party. Work that out. People who behave like that don't deserve to be sitting on the Treasury benches. We'll talk to David Elliott again. A very impressive candidate. We need more of them in the Liberal Party.